Road where goals galore were promised at Peterborough. Saints had stuck four past of us at Mary's. They would be four on the road as well. The only surprise was that we had to wait 19 minutes for the first goal. But Lee Barnard's shot was too hot for Joe Lewis and Richard Chaplow was on hand to do the business with the rebound. Chances kept on coming, and a second goal was coming for Saints too. Alex Chamberlain was weaving his magic once again. It was all too much for Mark Little, who could only stop him illegally. Penalty Saints, one of a cluster of spot kicks in this match. Ricky Lambert duly made it 2-0 with a minimum of fuss. But as we've already seen, Peterborough let in goals, but they scored them as well. And with five minutes before the break, they did just that. The division's top scorer, Craig Mackail smith doesn't need too many chances. Against the run of play, Posh were back in business. And maybe Saints were getting ready for a half-time cuppa, because they certainly lost momentum for a few moments. And did they pay the price? Mackail smith the provider this time, Chris Welpdale making it 2-2 in what had been a dramatic first 45 minutes. Surely the second half would be a little quieter. Maybe Nigel Adkins had read the riot act during the break because, if anything, the second half was even more lively. Chaplow was making a real nuisance of himself and a second penalty coming Saints' way as Tom Hammond was guilty of a foul on the Saints midfielder. Lambert, penalty, no contest. Three minutes later, the visitors had restored their two-goal cushion. A clever short corner routine straight from the training ground, finished in style by skipper Dean Hammond. Against most teams, that would have been enough, even with 40 minutes left. But Peterborough weren't done yet. And within five minutes, they were back on our shirt tails yet again. Another penalty, and this time Saints on the receiving end of it. Dan Seaborn, the guilty party. Kelvin Davis is pretty good at keeping out spot kicks, as we saw against Brighton. But when Grant McCann sent him the wrong way, even Super Kelvin couldn't pull off a miracle. If only the final whistle had gone there and then. Instead, it was all to play for, and referee Eddie Ilderton wasn't done for the night either. Deep into stoppage time, he was at it again. A ball into the box appeared to strike Alex Chamberlain on the arm. At least that's how Mr Ilderton saw it, and despite the inevitable howls of protest, his was the only opinion that mattered. In a highly charged atmosphere, Lee Tomlin held his nerve, sadly for us, and did just enough to beat Davis. Great for the neutral, as so many Peterborough games were this season, but while we'd have taken a point at the start of play, this felt like a bit of a disappointment, and it meant we still had work to do to close in on the teams above us.